Good news about a senior unico. The requirement may change in 2024. The requirement may change because something is on the way. So this is good news to those people that have not been receiving it or those people that don't meet up with the requirements because according to them, they say you must be two years of residence in Italy and have all that things, many other things before you feel apply for a senior unico. The children benefit when they pay. There are some people who never reach that two years in Italy. They don't get right to it. Now, from 2024, something is happening on the way. The EU, they are cooking some kind of things of which if they really hold Italy to it from 2024, they want to make sure that Italy change that rules to make sure that people, even though they never reach two years, as far as they get children, as far as they get the permits, they get resident permit, or they have the right to stay in Italy, they also get children, meaning they will have rights to it. The two years will be cancelled. So this one are good news to many people will not get right to a senior unico. We get children. According to what the stated it says, single allowance, how the requirements may change in 2024 after the EU infringement letter. The EU don't write letter, give it tally. Say, make it tally. Quickly respond to the letter because 2024 they come. Regarding a senior unico, a senior unico, now payment when they pay children here in Italy. Majorly for those ones when get residence from two years and above, meaning. You get that Komu resident, Kata the Adelita. You don't register yourself for Komu. If you just new enter Italy currently under the rule, or you just new come from wherever, you don't go feel apply. Even though you get 10 children, even though you born in Peking, you just carry them come. The EU is trying to do something that if you have residence, you are registered in Komu, you have the right to stay in Italy, many permits. Whether they work or you know they work, you have right to it. Previously, before, even Italian say, if person not the work, you not go feel apply put. The EU also battled that one. So whether they work or you know, whether the papa they work or not, whether the mama they work or not, you have right to apply for a senior unico if you are above the two years. But EU won't bring on that to say that if that one not count, as far as it picking, the bonus is for picking for children. You're not concerned with the mama, they say your papa they say for more than two years. As far as currently they have the residence. Currently, they have the permit, they get the sojourner, or they get the right to stay in Italy. They need to apply for it and they need to start paying there because it has to go in order with EU regulation or EU rules, the way they do one for other countries. So that's why they say, May Italy not separate their own, make it different from other countries because all these benefits, when they talk about all this money, majority of them are from EU. That's why EU get rights to tell them or to talk to them because majority of the money. When they, they use for bonus, this, that, and that, so I say, really cool. Majority of the finance now, EU they finance them. Every year, EU they give them budget, they give them money, each country in the European Union. So that they get money that they allocate, they give every country. So to support, especially family, one way or the other, in many, many things. So that's why EU get rights to talk about just like maybe you give person money me to take off your children as a papa as father give your wife money to take, take off the children at the end the woman not the user where do you understand you know that take off the children and take off, you they do all that things so you go get right to say ah, what did i say me you buy for this you never buy for them. what did you understand also so the same thing that's why you, you get right if you be papa you know they give your wife money so you don't get right to tell and say why you why you cook up bolo why you not cook up bolo whereas well, not you give her money <laughs> you understand so if that you give her money then you go tell and say why you cook up bolo why you not cook up bolo or why you go cook this and you understand i don't like this one but if you don't give her money if you talk with you not like because beggar has no choice you understand if they give your wife money to the cook so uh, you have right to say i don't like this one cook the other one but if you don't give her money you don't get right to say i don't like the one <laughs> the one we give you you take you understand so any idea this is what the eu as stated that Italy will have to comply with the infringement letter. They say the rules could change on who can benefit from the single and universal allowance, the AUU, which is the same thing as the senior Unico Philly. The family support measure, which in Italy was introduced in its current form in March 2022, the European Commission, in fact, has sent the Italian government a letter with a reasoned opinion to contest a particular aspect of the law. Only those who have resided in Italy for at least two years and 
only if they live in the same family as their children can obtain the AUU. So the EU is contesting that part of the law that states that only those ones that have lived in Italy for more than two years have right to it. Another thing, only those ones that they are also living together with the family, especially the children. So EU is contesting that part, stating that not be only those people when don't live above that needs to have rights to it. That is what the EU is stating. So meaning they say other people should also have right to it. According to you, know, we say they just write that letter, say maybe they'll say one year straight. So meaning there's hope. There's hope in 2024. So you when they listen to it now, you never reach two years. You just come last year. So far you have the resident permit you have every time. You get children. Listen to it. They say the Meloni government we have two months to respond. The letter was sent, I think, possibly in this November. They have two months to respond and adopt the necessary measures. They get two months to so quickly respond to that letter. If they accept the letter, they will adapt to all the necessary measures, change the law, make anybody when they do reach two years old. As far as you get resident permit, you get all the requirements, you have right to, to apply for it. Otherwise, if Italy say, uh, room one, they know one year, you understand? Say they won't stop on the no one year. Otherwise, the commission could decide to send the case to court of justice of the European Union, which would have the authority, the court of the European Union, which would have the authority to fine Italy, to give them fine, motor, and force it to change the law. So the simpler one that you do by sending them letters say, this is what we spotted. We send this one, say this one no good infringe with eu law not supposed to be so make gonna change that law to make people whenever one reach two years we don't ordinary one year six months they don't spend it as far as they have the requirement let them have right to as far as they get children but if it are not one year say maybe something uh put something for their year you understand they don't one year follow what you talk the eu will not sue them to court european court of justice they will not sue them to court and in that court Definitely they are going to rule because that court now in United United Year. That court know exactly what the law of European Union states. So that court number one, they have to find Italy, give them water, find them. Say because of the infringement, because of so and so, you have to pay so so and so damage or money. Then thereafter, they will also force them to do it or to change the law. So if they don't want to be humiliated, they don't want to pass through that, maybe by give them muta fine and also shaming them the eu can force and change the law it is better maybe you use the uh -huh, agreement now answer that letter so, okay okay we yeah we send the letter we will change that that will be better rather than to force them so this is it but we know the melody government they don't want here now force now they want possibly maybe it will come to that force but any any uh, let's see or hope and wait in 2024 for those ones that don't have right to read them because of that law when affects them possibly next year you might have right to it if eu really rule against it or if italy really yeah and follow what eu says thank you and god bless you bye